Welcome. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the SIDRA Intersection 9.1 User Interface. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit like, and leave a comment on this video. We'd love your feedback. Now let's begin. When the program is loaded, the main window will open with an empty project named Project 1 by default. Sidra Intersection can model both left-hand and right-hand traffic conditions. A Sidra Intersection project consists of sites, networks, and routes. All sites, networks, and routes of a project are stored in a single project file. Extension SIP9 is used for Sidra Intersection version 9.1 project files. The Sidra Intersection user interface is made up of several sections. Below the title bar, across the top of the window, there is the Quick Access Toolbar. This includes some file, process, input and output commands. The ribbon below the title bar and Quick Access Toolbar contains a set of tabs that represent the main functions of the program. The ribbon commands and contents of the project pane will change as you select the site, network, tools, manage, or licensing tab. Below the ribbon, there is the project pane on the left and the display pane on the right. Output reports and displays will open in the display pane. The active display is shown with a green highlighted tab. Tabbed displays can be grouped vertically or horizontally by right-clicking the display tabs. You can resize the project pane and tabbed displays horizontally or its sections vertically as you wish. At the top right-hand corner of the user interface, you will find icons to access the SIDRA User Guide, Glossary, and Help System. Let's now have a look at the properties of each tab in the user interface. Clicking the File tab in the ribbon will open a drop-down menu. The file menu includes commands for project file handling, including the batch conversion tool to import older project files. Software info, including the software license information, update options, and project file information with various commands. User Guide, SIDRA Glossary of Traffic Analysis Terms, and Help System Links. And Special Output to PDF Function with various options for designing and printing output reports and displays in PDF format. The Site tab includes easy-to-use commands for creating and working with sites in a project. The Site tab ribbon consists of Site, Add New Site, Site Functions, Site Folders, and Data Summary Command Groups. Various site commands and site properties can also be accessed by right-clicking individual sites in the Project pane. The project pane under the Site tab is divided into several sections. The Sites section displays all sites in the current project. Individual sites can be easily managed under Folders. The Site Input section includes the input dialogs for the selected site. Using these input dialogs, you will configure site geometry and specify all other site data. 
Site output reports and displays are accessed using commands under the Site Reports and Site Displays tabs, which appear as part of the top Site tab. The Network tab allows you to create and configure networks and routes. The Network Command Ribbon consists of Network, Network Setup, Route Setup, Functions, Network Folders, and Network Data Summary Command Groups. The Project Pane under the Network tab is divided into several sections. The Project Pane view will change depending on whether you are working with a network or route. The Networks section displays all networks and routes in the current project. These can be managed under Folders. The Network Input section includes the input dialogs for the selected network. The Sites and CCGs in Network section displays the sites and common control groups in the selected network. Under the Site tab, the sites included in the selected network will be marked with the network symbol next to their names. The Route Input section includes the input dialogs for the selected route. The Sites and CCGs on Route section displays the sites and common control groups in the selected route. Ribbon tabs for Network Output, Route Output, Network Site Reports, and Network Site Displays appear at the top of the screen. The Tools tab includes Input Comparison, Output Comparison, Project, Category Setup, and User Report Setup command groups. The Input Comparison commands are available for comparing input data for two sites, input data for a site with default values, and input data for two networks. Input comparisons can be done for sites and networks in the current project or in two different projects. Similarly, output comparison commands are available for comparing the output data for two single or network sites, two networks, or two routes from selected networks. Output comparisons can be done for sites, networks, and routes in the current project or in two different projects. The Project Summary command is used for summarizing performance values, including hourly and annual results across many sites, networks, or routes according to the user-specified site and network categories. Using site and network categories facilitates comparison of alternative scenarios in a flexible way. The Category Setup group in the Tools command ribbon enables you to manage, import, and export categories. The User Report Setup command gives you the ability to configure user report templates for sites, networks, and routes. The Import and Export functions allow sharing of user report templates.
Once you have defined a new template, it will become available in the User Reports command groups under the Site Reports, Network Output, Root Output, and Network Site Reports tabs. The Manage tab includes Manage Output, User Interface Options, and Manage Software Setup Command Groups. In the Customize Reports dialog, you can specify the elements you want to appear in Site, Network, and Root Reports and Displays. The Customize Displays command allows you to customize the elements to appear in output displays and the parameters to appear in output dialogs for approach, lane, and movement displays. Using the Site Output dialog, you can configure the tables to appear in the detailed output report and specify the format of volume displays. You can use the Graphs Display menu to choose parameters to be displayed. And use the Output Parameters menu to select the output information in the Variable Run, Multiple Sequence Analysis, and Project Summary Reports. The Interface and Layout commands in the User Interface Options group allow you to set up your preferences for the user interface, output reports and displays, and layout pictures. The Manage Software Setup group includes a drop-down list for selecting the software setup relevant to your local practice as determined by the traffic rule, measurement units, and the default system for input and traffic model parameters. You can edit parameters in the default system to customize a user setup. The export and import commands allow you to share your user setups. The licensing tab is used to manage different types of Sidra Intersection software licenses. You can find detailed license information at the Sidra Solutions support site. This has been a quick overview of the user interface in Sidra Intersection version 9.1. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, and Help System in the software, or view our YouTube tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.